Well, I must say that um, what we are witnessing is an escalation of a deteriorating situation in the country. The human rights abuses are unbelievable. The draconian <coughs> attitude of the state is unbelievable. It's incredible that you would have in a free Zimbabwe somebody being denied bail simply for the reason that uh, they are alleged to have uttered a particular statement. It can't be normal when you have a journalist, a, repu a reputable journalist, a prominent journalist being victimized for saying what he has seen, factual things. Hope watching is the case in point. Job Sikala. An allegation is not a conviction. So we expect them to be given bail and we expect them to be released so that they can have their day in court to defend themselves. And that because of police treatment today, they're trying, they're saying they're trying to stop you from interviewing, well, being interviewed by journalists. Well, it tells you the nature of our crisis. The fact that you actually have police having a difficulty in just having a normal interview tells you that we are in a situation that is untenable. Globally and internationally, it is all being evident that we have a difficult situation in Zimbabwe. And this is why we are saying things in Zimbabwe are not normal. Zimbabweans are under siege. The human rights situation is deteriorating. The political situation is a case of a crisis. You can't say that it's not a crisis when you have senior leaders of the opposition, leaders of the opposition, journalists, uh, lawyers being terrorized, being intimidated. It tells you what the problem is. When will this end, Mr. Mason? Well, it will only end when we have resolved the political crisis in this country. And this is why we are saying there has to be a political settlement. Nothing will move this country forward until there is a united approach to resolving our crisis. What? We have a crisis of governance, we have a crisis of legitimacy. The only answer is our ability to come together to unite people and move forward. And probably, do you think that that, uh, that this settlement is, is in sight, given that treatment from There government? has to be that settlement. Zimbabweans have a right to defend themselves in the context of peace, in the context of non-violence, in terms of Section 59. And we are all going to be mobilizing and to say we demand peace. We demand justice, we demand accountability, we demand democracy. Because that's what the liberation struggle was all about. This kind of an apartheid <coughs> mindset, the kind of a crocodile state that is only there to be predatory, cannot be allowed and cannot continue. What should you, the, the, you do as a party? What will you do to ensure that... The... This is not a party issue. It's a whole Zimbabwe issue. This is about Africa, this is about Zimbabweans, this is about the whole of Zimbabwe. It's about citizens, it's about our dignity. You can't partisanize it, you can't make it a party issue. It's now bigger than the party. We need all Zimbabweans to unite. Churches, civil society, trade unions, political parties, to come together and be of one mind. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.